Good morning, and welcome to the first installment on the Geek Channel of the Pajama Diaries. For those of you that do not know what Pajama Diaries are, it's the first in the morning video where I tell you what's been going on in my life without brushing my hair and without putting on clothes, hence Pajama Diary. So, there you are. Some of you probably got a real extreme close-up. So, yeah. Um, never caffeinated. Never uncaffeinated are these things, I'm telling you. Um, standing out here on the back porch of my friend's house. We've been staying here for the past week waiting for uh, the move-in date for our apartment, which is supposed to be April 1st. Now, I understand the significance of that date and the, you know, wonderful little circumstance of the fact that we're moving in on April Fool's. So, you know, are we or aren't we would be the question, seeing how the management office has postponed the move-in date a couple of times already. Hmm... It's going to be $599 in a money order to move in. We're not going to have furniture, but we're going to work on getting some. And uh, like I promised those that follow me on Twitter, there will be a live stream tour and housewarming online kind of stream party uh, to celebrate the event that we finally have a roof over our heads. Uh, for those of you that are not aware or that just started following this channel and don't know me, we used to live in Georgia, in this house that was literally falling apart. It should have been condemned. Uh, it was infested with roaches. It had mold, not the black kind, but it had mold and mildew in there, which was just as bad for my bronchitis. Um, and we were doing everything we could to get the heck out of the situation. Now, I used to have pictures uh, in my Discord as to what the house looked like. They have long since been taken down. Um, I could put them on a blog. I am still debating back and forth as to whether or not to put those nasty pictures up on a blog so people can actually see the situation we were living in. The apartment is a two-bedroom apartment in Dallas that is less than um, seven miles from where he works, which is good for cheap lifts, short bus trips, and so on and so forth. Uh, so there's that. Um, also, the two-bedroom apartment will also afford me having a studio and workshop in the second bedroom. And we're also going to be looking into getting a futon or a portable bed for that room for anybody that wants to come and visit, you know, stay a couple of days, so on and so forth, <clears throat> because we know we're going to have friends that are going to want to come over. Um, we're probably also going to be contemplating some sort of furniture in the living room that either folds out or is comfortable enough to sleep in without having to fold it out. Um, for those of you that are not aware or have never heard of this thing, look up a fuff on Amazon. That's F-U-F or F-U-F-F. -F, I can't remember. Um, those things are comfortable. Uh, Ronan and I uh, stayed uh, in Louisiana for a little while with a friend of mine that had one in the living room and I can't count how many times we fell asleep on the thing because it was absolutely ab wonderful to sleep in. Um, let me see here. Oh yeah. Uh, I will be seeing if I have enough memory on my uh, computer this morning to do some sort of playthrough on a game that I have been toying around with. <coughs> it's Steam World Dig, not the second one, it's the first one. Uh, Twitch Prime finally gave me the first one. And there are lots of differences between the first one and the second one. One of them being I can't figure out how to get a uh, g controller to work with it. Uh, controllers are not compatible with the first game. i got to see if I can remap the keyboard to make it easier for me so my fingers aren't all over the keyboard trying to get everything to work. Um, there are you know, pros and cons to the game compared to the second one, uh, but I'll get into that when I do that video, and um, I don't know when I'm going to be uploading that one, but um, it'll only be uploaded if I have enough memory to run OBS and the game at the same time, so I have my fingers crossed that that will happen. Um, don't forget that tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, this 8 p.m. Eastern, on this channel, um, there will be a premiere for um, my very first Memory Lane video, so I'd like to see you guys in the chat, if possible. Um, it's, it's about a 15-16 minute, 15, 16 minute video, so it's not going to take that long to watch. So you guys can go about your usual nightly night streams and 
things like that and have fun without it impeding any of your progress. But I just, I hope, <clears throat> that's my bronchitis. Sorry about that. I hope to see you there. I hope to have fun with you in the chat and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I will be taking requests for the uh, next video after this next one that I'm going to be doing. Uh, so um, I'm always looking for input, but they have to be classic. They have to be either 60s, 70s, 80s, or 90s cartoons. 2000s, that's it. Nothing from 2010 up. I'm doing the old stuff, guys, because you know plenty of people are covering the new stuff. I want to go back to my childhood and maybe some other people's childhoods and watch some stuff that I didn't even know existed. So, um, as usual, like on my main channel, um, requests are welcome. Um, if you're a patron or if you decide to tip any videos or any streams that I have, then your request becomes a priority. But it is not customary or not, not customary. See, now I didn't have enough caffeine. The vocabulary escapes me. It is not mandatory to tip or become a patron. Um, I only ask for you guys to do so to support the channels if you like the content um, because it's a way of telling me that you do like the content and I thank those of you that support me. Um, I am getting ready to shut my Patreon down soon so be on the lookout for that announcement on the main channel. So uh, more later. Bye. Okay, Eunice Travel Plans, I need to be in New York on Monday, LA on Tuesday, New York on Wednesday, LA on Thursday, New York on Friday, got it? Got it. Got it. So you want to work here, what really makes you think you deserve a job here? Well, sir, I think on my feet I'm good to figures and have a sharp mind. Excellent, can you start on Monday? Yes, sir, absolutely, without hesitation. Congratulations, welcome aboard. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And in conclusion, Jim, Bill, Bob, call Fred, Low, Dork, Ava, and Ted. Business is business, and as we all know, in order to get something done, you gotta do something. In order to do something, we gotta get to work, so let's get to work. Thank you for taking the meeting. PD did a bang-up job on putting you in charge of Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. I know it's perfect, Peter, that's why I picked Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's perfect, Peter, may I call you Pete? Call me Pete. Pete. There's a Mr. Schnittler here to see you. Home to wait 15 seconds. Can you wait 15 seconds? I'll wait 15 seconds. Congratulations on your deal in Denver, Dave. I'm putting you down to deal with Dallas. Don, is it a deal? Do we have a deal? It's a deal. I gotta go, I got a call coming in. Hi, Doc, just dealt with Don. In this fast moving, high pressure, get it done yesterday world. Aren't you glad there's one company that can keep up with it all? You got a deal, good. I'm putting you down to deal with Dick. Dick, what's the deal with the deal? Are we dealing? We're dealing. Dave, it's a deal with Don, Dork, and Dick. Dork, it's a deal with Dave, Dick, and Dave. Don, it's a Dork with Dick, Dave, and Dave. Gotta go, Dave. Disconnecting. Gotta go, Dick. Disconnecting. Gotta go, Dan. Disconnecting. Federal Express. When it absolutely, positively has to be there overnight.